Hey everybody, how's it going? I'm Jack Devine. Welcome back to another episode of Jack Snacks. Today we're going to do a little quick snack on how to bend into the fifth, all right, when we're playing a little blues lick in the key of E, all right? It's a pretty simple idea. We all do this kind of idea. Right? Where we'd, grab the, we'd end up grabbing that minor third and applying a little upward pressure on it, right? But what I'm going to try to suggest to you is that you get on the same, same, it's gonna look like almost the same note, right? We're just gonna come here to the D string. And you'll notice that I'm not going, I'm going. This pre-bent sound is significantly different when stacked up against the fretted sound. And I'm doing it here on the fifth. I'm doing it here on the third. Are pre-bending into notes that I would play with a fret already, and this is a trick that you know Jeff Beck and some of the other you know Clapton and you know it just the list goes on and on. Anybody that's that's in tune with this instrument realizes that so much of this note is played here and bent up into it. It's a great place to be because then you can bend, you can lower the pitch. Okay, and it's just getting that simple, simple pre-bent tension, right? So that way, if you're playing the, Once you learn how to do it in one spot, you, you, it's kind of addictive because it gives a real vocal quality to how you're playing. subscribe to the channel please do and if you want to contact me for lessons uh, down here at some point in time in the lesson that'll be there all right adios amigos cheers <laughs>